guys welcome to technolkar so today what we'll be seeing is everyone have hobby right to play with the toys we also had in our, our kids like they used to play with the toys with remote control but what was the difference between the toys which we play now and which was there in our childhood that was a remote control which used to take the radio radio signals and it used to travel where there will be one controller and there will be a receiver where there will be communication between them both by the use of a radio signal but today what i am going to tell you is that is iot car that is internet of things have you might have heard this word that is internet of thing so what we'll be doing is by use of the internet through our mobile application we can make the access for our car like how we used to control with the controller so anywhere whatever it doesn't matter that you have to stay in your your car only what happens in remote control you have to stay near by it they might be having a range of 10 kilometers uh, or it might be it is very few like meters only like 10 meter 20 meter like that uh, hardly it will be of 10 kilometers it will be in drone and all so what will be controlling it but what happens in iot is iot have the unlimited range where you can say that if you are being at any corner of the world you can control your car which is there here at this particular location you can make that access uh, that car so today i'll be showing you that how you can make your own iot car with all the connections and i also showing you the working and the display in my description there you will be getting a code and circuit diagram also so let us begin with the connection of my iot car so first of all what i'll be showing is so you can see here that i have just drawn all the devices of component of my car is that is i'm using a node mcu first of all i'm using node mcu here and then one of the driver this is the driver which i have used that will be two channel driver i have used and switch and battery and these are my four motors because i am going to do the four wheeler iot car so first of all let me give the input connection that i am using a digital pins that is d not to d4 the first i'll be giving to input 1 second one i'll be giving to input 2 and third input 3 and then fourth that is input 4 So just uh, I have given all the four inputs uh, from D not to D3. You can use any pins from this, not just necessary that you have to use from D not only. So this was the connection of a node MCU with a driver. Next up we have that will be output of two. This is two channel, so there will be four outputs. Here two output will be getting, and here two, and from here. But what is the question is there are four motors. So how we can connect it? So what we'll be doing is. two motor serially to one port and two motor serially to one port so like that connection you can do see the pause one of the terminal of this second motor i will be joined to the first terminal see what i have did is i have connected i have joined the two terminals of the both the motors and then from this terminal i'll be taking to one connection here so next what i am doing is second terminal i have So what I'll be doing second terminal of my another motor that I'll be connecting to the first terminal of my first motor and given to the driver. So this how I have connected for one uh, this one one port two motor serially. Next up same connection will be going to repeat in the next third and fourth motor. Like see uh, one motor I'll be connecting to here and second one I'll be giving here. So like that in this case we can make the connections as we require. So this is how I have connected the two motors are there. So the driver is completed now. But what about this? That is 5 volt ground and 12 volt. So I am going to use that is 12 volt battery. If you are using a 5 volt battery, you can make the connection to 5 volt. But make the use of the 12 volt because your car will get a extra speed and it will run in a fast mode. So first of all, what I'll be doing is I've used here one switch to make on and off my battery. So let me take uh, the connections. See what I'll doing is the 12 volt, which I'll be giving one to terminal of the battery and one by terminal of my battery to the switch, one terminal of switch, and then ground, which I have just connected. That I'll be giving ground pin to here. What now for the ground connection? And second thing that the node MCU, whatever the connection of the node MCU, I'm going to do that. What I'll be doing is the 5 volt. the 5 volt supply which will be coming from what does driver do, does is 
the supply which I'll be giving to 12 volt it used to take in and from 5, 5 volt it used to emit out it's like a output it work has an output pin so what I'll be doing is internally only I just no need to give a power supply separate for my node MCO I'll just make one 5 volt connection to the V in of my particular node MCO and then ground connection from the ground I'll be taking one of the pin for my ground connection this how I have just make the every connection of my particular circuit board so just by making all the connection you can operate your device so now you have seen that how it will be the connection of my particular device that is IoT car so now let us go to actual model that how we can build it what all we need what all components we require and what all the things we have to do to make this particular thing As I have told you about the connection, now let me tell you the components what I'll require. This first of all, I required a four wheeler. I am doing so four tires. I'll be requiring for to make this and one of the chassis that is the four wheeler chassis which we have and there are the motors here. I have placed motors. I have fixed it uh, where you can see that a geared motor. You can get it uh, on Amazon or I just making the links. I'll just uh, upload the links in my description so you can get easily to buy it. So this is how one thing that is chassis and I have mounted here my that is driver. So this is my driver which I have connected it. I have made the wirings. So I'll just explaining you everything. Don't worry about it. So this is uh, how there will be a driver one and there is a node MCU which I have mounted on my chassis. So what I'll be doing here you can see the switch I've used as I told you there is switching device uh, for to on and off my motor as and then this is the battery you can see I have used that is 5400 mh uh, current and 12 volt battery what it will do is the best thing that is if we use this kind of batteries then it will give high speed for my car so it can run in very accurately and high speed so just uh, I'll make uh, the tires which I'll be connecting to my motor so this is how you have to just uh, take your tires and connect it so you can see here how it will be uh, so simply just make one press and make the connection this is the wire which I will be going for our battery this is how what I have connected make it is very slowly because it should not get break otherwise the whole circuit has to again replaced yeah two tires have connected one side and another side I'll be connecting the another two tires so this is what we have been completed with the ah yeah see now it has been co covered with all the four wheeler tires so you can just see that and what I have did is inside from inside I just uh, have mounted it very So uh, you can see inside that how I have connected that is I just uh, fixed it to my chassis. Next let me tell you the connection that how it will be actually. This you can see here in the node MCU there will be 4 pins that is D0, D1, D2, D3. So 4 pins I have used and that 4 pins I will be giving to the input of my uh, that is driver. So here you can see there are 4 inputs input 1, input 2, input 3, input 4. So this how there will be four inputs I just have connected that and next up we will take the connection of my motor. So here you can see there are two connections right. Here you can see this is one and this one is second. As I told you in a circuit diagram you can make the two from here I will take two for this motor and we will serially connecting to this motor. Like that from here two connections I will be taking serially for these two motors. So like that the both two uh, from here wire, here to wires here to wires it will be getting matched and there here I can give two outputs. There are two outputs from my driver and this this is what the output the input terminals that is there is a 12 volt this is 12 volt this is ground and this is 5 volt what I have done is the 12 volt the one of the connection that is from 12 volt what I have taken positive to my switch you can see I have just taken a red wire for switch and ground see this is a ground wire that I have taken for my this is terminal one of the terminal of my battery and then another what I have did is the 
5 volt which will be there in this that 5 volt i have taken to v in of my node in so this is v in where i have to connect the 5 volt and then ground the whatever ground uh, connection will be there that i'll be connecting to this particular ground of my driver so this how there will simple connections uh, nothing much more difficult in it so you can just basically do it by seeing the circuit diagram you can connect it uh, how you required and you can change this pin also as you required you can make it uh, d d4 d5 d6 uh, or else you can make anything but just you verify that you have to be select the pins which you mentioned in your program now let me tell take this battery this is our battery which i'll be connecting so i have to first take the battery here i'll be keeping my battery on my chassis and then you have to connect it right see here just i have um, taken the two pins and i have to connect it so this half i have connected my circuit and then i'll make my uh, working see this what i have done is now my driver is on now my driver is getting actuated so i have to give signal for my control right it's going on on because i have not given any signal to that so just let me give you the working of how it will be working in the uh, on the floor let's see on the floor that how it used to move and how we can control it right as i have shown you the i have on the circuit and i have shown you that driver is on now and why you can see here there is a blinking of one light that is blue color which shows that your iot car is connected with your device so now what i'll be doing is see here what i have just made is see you, how will will get to know there is one uh, hotspot you have to on and you have to on your net will be showing you one device is connected so when you on it it will show the connection so here i have taken the four uh, buttons that is here two that is front two wheeler that is button and this one is second two wheeler. so what i'll be doing is see just uh, i'll be showing you i'll showing you on its floor that how it actually work but you can see here see this floor when you press uh, the front two buttons that is a uh, front two when you press front two buttons it will move forward okay and when you press uh, this uh, uh, downward two button it will go backward so like that if you want to take turn make one switch on make here one switch on and you can just press double you can go forward so this how by using a blink app you can control your iot car it does uh, so and you can see here i have not given any power supply for this node mcu right i have just given it from battery only i have connected this for the 5 volt which i have given to vcc and ground so i can just uh, no need to carry the power bank with this iot car just with the help of one single battery i can access these whole devices so just you can see that it is basically the tires used to move so let me give this example the demo of this particular car on the floor that how we used to go how we used to run how i can take the turn by using the iot car basically what we seen now is everything like connection what was the working but let me show you working on the floor that how we used to go travel over that see first what i will be doing i show, told you that these two buttons are for forward direction so forward and then this is backward which i am taking backward okay and if i just want to make the turn i can turn over that and then i can turn this how i can make the connection okay right see here the first uh, let me give it see if you want to rotate it around and around so you can just rotate it by clicking the two buttons side by side it will get to rotate and if you want to move in a anti clockwise like that also you can do it so by just uh, pressing the two buttons uh, you can control the whole control on this iot car is your device and if you want you can place a mobile over here you can place a mobile device or any camera you can place and you can just monitor the whatever the security purpose also you can use it so just it will go forward it will come reverse backward and then it will go forward see like that the car used to move okay the front the back this is how the iot car is getting controlled through our mobile devices there is nothing much you have to do in this just it is a few example what i have given there is this moving and then you have to take it forward just you can turn it if you want to make 
see this how if you could turn and rotate anywhere so it does not require is don't have any one fixed direction you can just make control it this was 